Hello everyone, welcome to Asian Academy's YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be talking about the new recruitment opportunity, which has been released by STPI. So STPI is Software Technology Parks of India. And uh, over here, this employment notice has been released for Scientist B positions and also some other positions as well for direct recruitment. So let's just check it out. Uh, what are the positions which have been released over here? Now, this is specifically for the students who have been inclined towards um, AI, DS, uh, and computer science in general. So you will be witnessing good amount of opportunities over here. Just check it out. Um, now, in this particular notification, the number of posts are a bit less, but for future reference, you can just check out this particular uh, company as well, which is uh, a premier SNT organization under Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. So this is under central government. So uh, it's a good opportunity if you are eligible for this. So postcode even you can see that it is SNT. So this is a scientist B position which has been released. And over here, number of posts will be five. It will be a direct recruitment basis, uh, mode of recruitment, right? And age limit for appointment on direct recruitment basis is 30 years. And it is a level 10 pay matrix, which is quite good. 56,000 rupees to 1,77,000 rupees, right? And uh, member technical staff, even scientist B also, you can just check it out over here. Now, essential qualifications for direct recruitment. Over here, this direct recruitment bachelor's degree in engineering technology with first class uh, degree in electrical, electronics, electronics and communication, telecommunication, um, computer science, information technology, or master's in computer application, that is your MCA. And also um, first class in physics, mathematics, uh, statistics, computer science, electronics, that will be also good if you have MSc as well, right? Master's degree in technology and engineering with first class also in the required domains have been mentioned. Also PhD can be uh, eligible for this as well. Now, after that, there is your second postcode uh, ES5 that is SN SNT. Now over here, this is regarded as a uh, member technical staff position. So here this pay level is level six. 35,400 till uh, 1,12,400. Now over here, um, here this is your uh, direct recruitment once again and number of positions are two over here. And age limit has also been mentioned. So mode of recruitment also over here will be what? Uh, absorption on a direct recruitment basis. So for direct recruitment basis, you need to have a three years of diploma over here in computer science, electronics, information technology, or telecommunication, or BTEC uh, is also eligible, right? And uh, for absorption, in case of absorption, officers um, holding, you know, central government, state government, PSUs experience, so you can just apply over here as well. Apart from that, another position, A5, non snt this is your administrative positions. If you are eligible for this, you can just check it out on the official website if you uh, want to see that. Uh, otherwise, some other non-technical positions are also there in this notification. You can just check out that as well. Um, over here, this one, uh, one more SNT position for member technical staff. It is mentioned four vacancies are there. Age limit is 34. And uh, here also, diploma is required. Um, and if you are one of the people who is officer in a central government, state government position as well, you can apply. And uh, next also, it is there, one more is, a, is it is there, yeah, this one, SNT member technical support staff, uh, ES2, level two position will be there. So a bit less uh, pay grade, only one position is here. It is an NOIDA which is required. Um, apart from that, various region, uh, Various regions also are there uh, in which there will be recruitment, right? Multiple Hyderabad, Pune, Bangalore, and these vacancies can be uh, in multiple places, right? And now how to apply? You can just go to the official website spti.in and there is no other mode of application shall be there and it will not be accepted uh, if you will apply anywhere else. So for application fee, group A position, that is your level 10, it is 1000 rupees. And if you are from category, it is 500 rupees. Um, NEFT and everything is also applicable over here and UPI payments are also applicable over here. The details have been mentioned for NEFT positions. 
okay and uh, here they have also mentioned the um, selection process so merit basis when they are saying so direct recruitment basis so there will be a written test followed by an interview for the scientist b position which is the most desirable in this particular notification but for lower level position that is your level 6 level 5 level 7 there there will be a written examination only and there will be no interview in this particular case right so uh, uh, you just need to check out their official website once you fill up the form then also check out the what is check out what is the written test considerations for that opening date of the online application will be 29th of november 2025 till 12th of december 2026 right i guess this is a bit of mistake over here oh no so this is 12th of december not not 12th of De december this is 12th of january sorry so this is 12th of january 2026 so quite a lot of time you have to fill up the application form right and general conditions and terms and conditions have been mentioned with respect to the notification now just check out uh, what will be the requirements of the examination for the scientist b position right and over here uh, written examination you can see the detailed syllabus of e1 has been mentioned in the annexure one and over here this is for level 6 level 5 and level 4 you can see mostly it will be what uh, non-technical area but this is 80 marks of non-technical portion will be asked and over here technical area will be 70 marks right so 80 marks will be from non-technical non-technical numerical aptitude english comprehension general awareness general intelligence and reasoning this is for level 6 level 5 and level 4 positions right and 150 questions total will be there and carrying one mark each the duration will be two and a half hours right and this has been mentioned over here apart from that for other non-technical uh, job positions as well they have mentioned the detailed syllabus for the above four set positions is also attached in annexure 2 let's check that out um, they have also mentioned the minimum percentage marks for the selection as well for the examination so yeah so syllabus for written technical examination so it'll it is mentioned for uh, various sections so digital circuits it is their computer organization architecture programming algorithms theory of computation compiler design operating system databases computer networks communications right all of this is your technical syllabus area which has been mentioned over here right and these are the key topics to be covered for uh, the non-technical position as well right non-technical syllabus as well yeah so this much is there from this particular notification uh, the syllabus is also mentioned over here um, for the selection of various examinations now apart from that uh, do fill out the form i i know the number of agencies are less but do fill out the form if you think it will be helpful for some people just share this video with them and like this video subscribe to our channel i'll see you in the next video